what's good YouTube tie back uh, and also, also what's good walkers of you know tie back here for another walking dead review uh, first I want to make a quick shout out you can kind of see them in the background uh, I just started getting into collecting these color top figures I've mentioned them in videos uh, a lot of controversy behind these guys I strongly or, oh man that light looks good on Daryl I strongly urge Walking Dead collectors to give these figures a shot um, the detail is just awesome on these guys I think that there we go kind of kind of focused I think that the likeness is awesome yeah the posability and stuff you know you don't really get it but you know I I think that they look the part they're kind of like statues and that's kind of what I bought them for uh, if, if we could get some good uh, articulation in the blue wave uh, you know that'd be awesome but they put some articulation apparently on the Abraham figure which I don't have uh, but uh, we'll see when I pick one up Michonne they look awesome um, you know, they each, they're, they're basically statues. And also, uh, if you guys also would collect the Walking Dead pop figures, uh, which I think are freaking phenomenal. And I think that uh, I love them. I love the pop figures in general. But here's the newest one in my collection. Bam! Negan. I'm so, so happy to get this bad boy. He looks awesome. Yeah. And I got season one Daryl as well. Um, here's the box for me, and I did take it out of the box because I'm a bad uh, pop figure collector, but I always keep the boxes. Uh, sometimes I put them back in, sometimes I don't. But the reason I showed you guys these is I want people to get out there who watch The Walking Dead to support The Walking Dead in other ways than just uh, watching the TV show. I want you to... Oh, man. I'll fix them afterwards. I want you guys to get out there and support the figures from McFarlane Toys. Read the comic book series. Get out there and support The Walking Dead as a whole. Get the t-shirts, even though I only have one. Get the t-shirts, you know. Uh, really rep The Walking Dead. Not that it is hurting or anything, but uh, I think that as fans, we should all come together and really support something that we love so much. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys on Walkers Amino already do, but uh, that's besides the point. Let's get into... Uh, this episode, which was service. Um, this episode was a slow burn, uh, to say the least, and I think it's good. Um, a lot of people... I haven't seen any reviews yet, I haven't done my rounds, but I can, I can predict a lot of people complaining that this episode was too slow. Um, uh, my opinion, I think the episode needed to be slow. Like, the past few episodes kind of have been slow. Actually, I don't think the last one was too slow, but one before that was we needed that the next episode the cell was kind of ramped up this episode i think is somewhere in between it's that slow burn of like not a whole lot of stuff's happening but then again a lot of stuff is happening it's setting up for you know what's to come in the future with the all-out war and stuff that happens in the comic book series in this we see negan and his group come to alexandra alexandria finally this is something that uh, from what I've seen, a lot of Walking Dead fans have just been uh, chomping at the bit to see, you know, what are they going to do? How's Rick's group going to react after everything that's happened? And Rick is a broken man. Um, so Rick, or Negan and the Saviors show up, and they officially called them the Saviors in this episode. I believe Rick mentioned that, if I, if I remember correctly. I don't remember if they... Um, called them anything else or, or where else they called them the saviors it could have been last season when they went to the hilltop that they actually were called the saviors but i can't remember um but the saviors show up with negan negan says little pig let me in which is a phenomenal line and uh he enters and just he begins to raid and this that's this whole episode um and this is going to have some minor spoilers but this whole episode is Negan and the Saviors raiding Alexandria and just showing them pillaging the, the, uh, the community that they have built up. You know, taking their mattresses, uh, you know, taking, not taking their food, but taking all their guns, and that ends up 
leading into uh, the big part of the episode, I guess, is like two guns went missing, you know, what's going to happen. Uh, we see the uh, what happens with that, um, and I won't talk about that, you know. we got to leave some suspense for the episode, but, you know, uh, Rick with Negan, how's Rick going to act after he killed Glenn, and Abraham, is he going to be pissed? Is he going to be defiant? No, he's not. He's not going to be defiant. He's going to be a coward. He's not a coward. He's, he's going to be broken, um, which he should be. He needs to be, and he explains, you know, uh, why to Michonne later on. And Michonne's kind of being kind of the one who's being defiant, which I think is perfect. I think it goes with her character. And uh, this is going to be a major spoiler, a huge, 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 huge spoiler for the episode. But, uh, Rick talks to Michonne about Shane, which I thought was awesome. As soon as he started talking about Shane and Lori, I was like, cool, awesome throwback. He drops the big question, whose baby is Judith? And it is Shane's. Um, I mean, pretty much. It, it is Shane's baby. And that blew my, I mean, that blew my mind, really. Uh, Rick goes on to tell Michonne he knows that Judith's not his, but he, it is his daughter, and he's got to teach her how to survive, and he loves her. He had to, he had to convince himself of that so he could teach her how to survive and uh and grow up and and it, it just it, it blew my mind because in the comic book series it was pretty heavily implied and we got a pretty good idea that it was always Shane's kid but in the tv show you know it was kind of all up in the air I mean I, I kind of I believed it was Rick's kid for for years I, I always I always was like no it's Rick's kid you know blah blah, blah. It's, it's gotta be Rick's kid or oh we'll never know but you know and, and and some people can argue and say we'll never for sure know um because Rick and Lori had sex too uh yada 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 you know there's no real way we can't do a DNA test but we can pretty much say it's Shane's kid so I uh yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, and then, uh, you know, after that, well, actually before that, you know, Negan leaves and takes all their stuff. The White's kind of a dick. And at the very end, Rosita goes to Eugene with a shell and tells him to make her a bullet. And because uh, earlier she went and got another gun that the Saviors don't know about. So there's one more gun left in Alexandria. And it's we're starting the whole um, Eugene making ammo thing which is awesome big 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 part of the story big part of eugene's character um is him making ammunition for the survivors um so we're possibly offering it up as a gift to um the saviors who knows who knows it's going to open up the door to a million possibilities so um right off the bat i'm going to give this episode an a plus or let's just make it an A. The only the only reason I didn't give it an A plus was it was a slow burn, but that's not a bad thing. The episode was still great. Jeffrey Dean Morgan steals it as Negan, you know, um, all around fantastic episode, guys. Um, yeah, there's not much more to say. I can't wait for the next one. Looks like it's gonna be a good one. I keep saying I'm gonna make a predictions video, and I probably won't, but I want to. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to post this on Walker's Amino. Be sure to follow me on Walker's Amino at Tyromi94. And, uh, guys, if you're watching the video on Walker's Amino, be sure to, um, actually follow the link and go to, uh, my YouTube channel and subscribe. Um, so we can get some kind of community going here. We can get some kind of questions going. I'm, I'm going to start trying to do Q&As through Walker's Amino and making videos through here. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. So, uh, I'm going to call it here. Uh, this is Ty, and I'm peacing out, internet. Or, actually, as Jeremy says, deuces.